like, bro. Is he actually got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> No way. way videos that are freaking viewers out, man. Yeah. I'm well, pretty I, sure I, just I didn't like, actually say it. I was reading it. No, I was just like, I guess that's the way you're supposed to do. It's like I put an emphasis on Oh, you just way. started it. Yeah, I just started the video. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's up? Welcome back. You already heard the title. No way videos that are freaking viewers out. Mm -hmm. um, we, started, we started reacting to something like the, you know, TikTok conspiracy theory type stuff. Um, I've been watching a few different YouTubers, you know, kind of like dabble into it. So I figured we might as well hop on it as well. You know what I mean? You ever see them dark videos, like them deep, them deep dark like, YouTube videos? Like when a chick was like, she was doing makeup and like she like start banging her head off the camera. Oh yeah, I know that. Yes. Or like uh, they was making this dude. I think he was like eating cereal or soup. It was like so much, and then like these dudes with these helmets were just watching. <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't. I'm like, yo, these. It's like these videos are just like crazy. I don't like, I don't really know how to explain them. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, you're gonna see what this video got going on, man. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Really appreciate sure everybody's coming back to the channel. We're at 10K. Call right in. What do you want? Now, I don't know about you, but when it's a beautiful night outside, I usually like to lay down and watch the stars, the moon and the sky in general, and I keep asking myself if it's really just us, human beings, as a rational and intelligent race in the universe. And I guess that most of the times, lots of people ask themselves this exact question. <laughs> Is it just us, or is there maybe something else out there? Now recently the internet has been completely baffled by this topic Thanks, for some reason, and there have been several videos popping up on social media and many other places that may be evidence of something else out there. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. You had a bunch right of, uh, One of the most recent videos that have been baffling internet users all over social media yeah. was supposedly recorded in Everett in Washington. This is what was seen. Check this out. I got a balloon. What is that? I'm not like a turtle. Or a depth star. Yeah, I don't know if that's a UFO. It's taking me kind of slow, huh? That definitely ain't no plane. Like, what is that? Like a con shell. <laughs> I gotta have something to eat. No. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks no. like. I've never no. seen anything like it. It had a bunch of uh, sparkling lights on it and stuff. At first, what appears to be a balloon hovering very yeah, slowly over Everett can be seen. Then, when the person zooms in, we can observe several tiny oh, spots of light shining moments. all over the object. Whatever this Maybe. thing is, it's not producing any sound, as in a drone, so it's not one. And it might just not be a balloon. So what is it? But it doesn't stop there, and things just get even stranger in Bogota, when a couple of weeks ago, Lucas Villafanez captured something chilling while working at his home. Now, Lucas has a very interesting social media profile, but he usually posts things about his daily life. It has absolutely nothing to do with no, mysterious, strange, or creepy things caught on camera. But in one specific occasion, Lucas noticed something really strange hovering just next to him, and he was able to capture it all on camera, and this is what he saw. Good night, John. Oh, like a train or like a bus. <laughs> Floating fucking pack, pack bus. What appears to be a yeah, silly type <laughs> object can be seen hovering just next to Luca's property. In the video, we can see it flying straight into the woods and disappear. What is that? I don't know. Completely baffled by what he just saw, Lucas stayed there and recorded more videos in hopes of capturing it again. Hello, what? Where's my guy, Bolivia? After posting no, the video to his account, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. 
internet users were divided and baffled. While some state that this could be a drone or maybe a cable wave of some sort, others left comments saying that this could actually be a mysterious object going into a cave. And this is the reason the object disappears straight into the woods. Now Lucas did his best and he went over to that mountain to find out more. And this oh, is what he came to Toronto. Well, the size of the trees. Why are you telling me that it Bien grande lo que pasó por acá. Pasó por acá y no sé si ha sido ahí o ahí. Eh, para hacer un teleférico no es porque caben, no hay. Después, un dron se escucharía. Esto hace mucho eco y no, no puede ser que pase un, un dron sin hacer ruido. Igual que un avión a control remoto, lo mismo. Sería, haría ruido igual. Es con su interpretación. Ahí hay pura mata, no, no hay lugar para aterrizar una. It appears that whatever this thing was. It probably wasn't a drone, and it's not a cable way, so what is it? Curious, Lucas continues climbing the mountain, and he finds a cave. It could maybe answer why the object simply disappears. But I don't know, the cave doesn't seem to be as large as the object is. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Could it be that this object went into a cave of some sort and vanished? inside the mountain and where did this object come from yeah guys the, <clears throat> the aliens are here. here whether you like it or not they're here yeah. and I mean, these I kinds I of tell mysterious you phenomena just keep occurring and last week Something's during halloween happen. a video went viral of what appears to be a glitch in the sky the video was captured in china and the source is unknown check this out Unfortunately, the video is really short, maybe oh, no, suggesting man. that this could be faked or something it's like China, that. So. However, if we pay attention to oh, it and watch it over and over, oh, no, we can yeah. see that the people on the street are all observing the same thing on that cloud. So if this is the real Teal, whatever this thing the is, it could be maybe a fleet of luminous objects. Drones or not, it's very difficult to say, or maybe an unexplained glitch of sword. What's your take? But there's one thing about summer that really bugs me, and I guess that it bugs everyone, literally. And those are mosquitoes. And I guess that no one actually likes mosquitoes and the fact that they spread lots of diseases amongst humans. But they are part of nature, and I guess suck. meddling around with their genetics isn't exactly the best of ideas in the long term, in my opinion. However, recently, a video went viral on social media of a man that supposedly found a mosquito and there was something really wrong about it. This is what he saw. Cold, man. Oh, oh, it's a mosquito, man. In the video, a man holds a live mosquito and in it, we can see imprinted somehow the number 36. What? The video was posted by Reddit user Dank Pepe Boy, and he says, "Any theories about this? I somehow doubt that the explanation is as simple as someone wrote a tiny 36 on it." Needless to say, internet users were completely divided about this video. Some say that this is a natural pattern, that the number 36 is just a coincidence. While others state the confidence that the genetic There's no reason why there should be a 36 So I immediately began to research and tell found tons of articles. No small mosquitoes are, bro. Companies indeed are genetically modifying mosquitoes for several reasons. Smaller than your thumbnail. I kill my That's not okay. That's serious, bro. Anyways, in your opinion, what do you think is really going on here? Does this mosquito actually have a number 36 tagged on it? Why so? Or is it just some coincidence like, like a pattern in nature where we What's see the number 36 is? because we want to? What's your take? I will do one more if I was not it. Hey, this is like 29. Yeah, I know, I'm talking about one more. John. That is wild, though. Like, Every once in a while, people travel to a small city in the woods or in the mountains to have a good time, relax, forget about their daily chores and that kind of thing. And I guess that this is exactly what Daniel Whitehead did when he traveled to Baxter in Tennessee near Silver Point on October 26, 2022. 
Now Baxter, being a very small town with a population of only 1500 people, is nestled among the hills and mountainous terrain of the Cumberland Plateau. So on one side of Baxter you have this beautiful place full of wildlife, and on the other side you have Cookville, a city where in the 1960s strange things happened around this witch graveyard where students of the Baptist Student Union used to take freshmen to this specific place to tell them stories, strange stories about this mysterious graveyard. And it was somewhere around Baxter near Silver Point that Daniel Whitehead captured what appears to be a humanoid creature on camera. Check this out. Hey, just, do you see that? Do you see that? I'm afraid. Probably a Sasquatch. Yo, what is that? Yeah, hey, yeah, I thought Bonga's arms are. That's a fucking monkey right there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, they better get out of there. Cause like, that thing start going at you, it's over. Hey, can run faster than you can even turn around. You see that? What appears to be a Sasquatch or a big... I put on like a big shotgun. I'm like, right, come on, come on. And Daniel is completely baffled by it. Some internet users believe that this could actually be just a human being using some sort of suit. No, However, if you take a look closely in the video, I'm you'll see that this you. creature's arms are too long. We're like, we grab like two trees. Yeah, like, it might just be something else other than a human being trying to fake the situation. Tree to tree. I'm like, bro, there's no other way that's a human being, bro. That this could actually be Bigfoot, but I'm not too sure. But this isn't the only video this week that portrays something really odd captured on camera in terms of cryptids and strange creatures. I seen that shit. What is that? What the hell that is? This next know. video was posted by Frank <laughs> on Reddit and he writes, Weird artifact in CCTV camera from outside my dad's work. What you're about to watch next is one of the strangest <laughs> videos that I've ever seen in regards to cryptids. Check this out. What is that? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Yeah, I don't really like that. At first, what appears to be a three legged creature can be seen in the video. Some internet users suggest that this is a three legged dog or some sort of crooked entity, one that you can see oh, in the country. What's that the thing movie. flying next to him? In my it's opinion, like two things whatever this thing out. is, it's a very solid creature. It is not a ghost. Others state that this could be, for example, and what's on that back thing? Why is it like, from like from that this is a security camera that. with a certain encoding? Now, even so, other internet users agree that being a camera artifact or not, it is quite impossible to make out what this is and it doesn't look like it's a human being at all. So whatever is going on here, it is a complete mystery. Yeah, see. What, what, what is that? I don't know, but I won't be working on it. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> for next, next guy. That thing's like walking with like one leg, bro. I'm like. That'd be for the next guy to find out, because I'm not gonna sit around and uh, yeah, my try to figure out what's yeah, going on. Yeah, that's just not black. <laughs> There's no way I would sit around and try to figure out just my fucking Scooby gang. Scooby Gang. I'm driving around with a van and trying to find monsters. I'm good. Scooby Gang. Yeah, man. But if you enjoyed this reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. We really appreciate all the support. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.